everyone and welcome back to the Wellness Today Kitchen. My name is Jade and today we're going to be making what I like to call the only recipe you'll ever need, raw vegan ice cream. So I absolutely love this recipe because of how simple and healthy it is. Bananas are chock full of these essential ingredients. Potassium, which is essential for maintaining proper heart function and regulating normal blood pressure. Vitamin B6, which is important for creating healthy blood. Vitamin C, which boosts your immune system. They're also great for digestion and contain a lot of dietary fiber, which helps your digestive system run more smoothly. They're a stress reducer because they contain an amino acid, which converts into serotonin in your brain. And they're a great hangover cure because excessive alcohol eliminates the body's supply of potassium and bananas replenish that. So, now that you know all about the awesome health benefits, let's get into how to make it. Ready for how easy this is? There are two base ingredients two bananas, and four tablespoons of almond milk. So you can actually use any type of milk that you have available. If you have rice milk, if you have hemp milk, if you have soy milk, I made my own raw almond milk here. If you want me to show you how to make it, comment in the boxes below and we can do another video. Back to the banana ice cream though. So here's what you need to do. First we're gonna peel the bananas and chop them up into pieces. And this is a serving that'll serve about four people. You can double the recipe if you're doing a serving for eight. And then, after you chop up the bananas, you'll need to put them in a Ziploc and put them into the freezer overnight. These are your frozen bananas that you've had in the freezer overnight or at least for like eight hours. So we're gonna open up this, and pop it into the blender. And we'll eyeball about four tablespoons of almond milk. So four tablespoons really isn't a lot. If you've made traditional smoothies before, it's not gonna feel like the same amount that you would put into a smoothie, because it really is just only to give it kind of a little bit of creaminess. So when you're blending it, you're gonna need to keep pushing the bananas down, because there's not a ton of liquid in it. I have a big utensil here that I'm gonna use, like we're gonna be pushing them down to make sure all the bananas get nice and blended, that none of them are stuck together. Um, and so you get that good ice cream texture that we're wanting out of this. Okay, so once you have your ice cream fairly mixed together, um, you can add in whatever add-ins you'd like. So I usually do a dash of cinnamon and I do about a thumbnail sized piece of vanilla bean. Um, you can also use three to four drops of vanilla extract. I've also added um, goji berries to it before, dried goji berries or raspberries if you want a fruitier one or blackberries maybe during the summer. So this is my vanilla bean piece. It's kind of the size of my thumb, like upper joint thing. Um, we'll just pop that right in there. And I'm gonna push it down with a spoon. It'll take you a little bit longer, but you just keep pushing it down until you get a nice texture. So we'll push that down and blend it up a little bit more. So you can probably keep frozen bananas in your freezer for around two to three weeks. So you can always have this recipe ready if you ever have friends over or I know summer's coming up. You can put whatever little add-ins on you want, some fresh fruit. We've got some almonds here, so I'm going to put a couple of almond slivers. <laughs> so, so delicious. You have to try it out and let me know how it worked out for you in the comments below. If you want more tips and recipes from Wellness Today, don't forget to subscribe. Be well and thanks for watching. We're going to do what we call mountain climbers. To do this, you're going to bring your right knee straight across to your left elbow. Bring it back and then switch sides. We're going to do 20 of these on each side. Are you ready? Keep those abs pulled in tight and keep that straight line all the way down your spine. Here we go. 